Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will give you a very quick tutorial on how to do drop down lists, both simple and dependent. For example, you can select from here either you want a fruit or a vegetable and depending on what you selected the type as, you will get the options. If you selected fruit, you will get these options and if you selected a vegetable, you will get different options. So let's get started. To create a drop down list in Excel, you need to first create the database. So let's begin by first creating the type as fruits and vegetables. And to have the functionality of a dependent drop down list, you need to create the specific range. So let's begin with fruits and similarly vegetables. You need to now name the range which you created. Uh, we could just select 4 but I'd like to select extra in case you need to add more fruits later and now you go to the top left corner and name this exactly as the type you have given as an option and just color it so that you know these are the amount of cells which form the range similarly you need to create for vegetables Now when you select this range of fruits, automatically you know that this range is called fruits which is same as the option in the type and similarly as vegetables. You are ready to go. Let's create a small table. Now you need to use a function called data validation. So let's select the range and you go under the data tab to data validation. There, instead of allowing any value, you need to allow it to pick up from a list. And the source as the fruits and vegetables option. And you have an in cell drop down. Okay. So now, when you go, automatically you have the option of fruits and vegetables. Now, with this, I'd like to have a dependent drop down list. That is, if I select fruits, I'd like to have the options which are in my fruits range and similarly if I select vegetables I'd like to have the options in the vegetable range. This again can be achieved by data validation. Again select the ranges, go to data validation. Instead of any value it's going to be a list. Now we don't have a static source and it's going to be dynamic depending on our initial option. So here you need to use a formula called indirect and select the cell value you need to be careful and remove the dollar symbol because otherwise it will always take only the option g3 and the whole range will have the dependent drop down list based on only g3 but we want it to be g3 g4 g5 respectively for h3 h4 h5 and so on and once you say okay now as you select its fruits the options here will be apple if you selected a vegetable, the options here will be cucumber. The advantage of leaving some empty cells is you can add some other fruits later. So let's say now if you have fruits, the new fruit also will come in as an option. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, 